So this is my June haul. And I originally wasn't going to do a June haul, but I decided, you know, what the hell. Um, so we're going to start with the stuff that I don't have readily available for me because it's already been put away. And this is stuff I got when I was on vacation where I also got my hair cut. As you can see, it's all short. It's very short. But anyway, um, I got uh, three movies while I was out in Arizona. The first one was Split, the M. Night Shyamalan movie which stars James McAvoy. finally saw that. Really good. Um, Beauty and the Beast. And then I got a movie that I did. I never thought I was going to get on DVD, but it's one of my favorite movies from my childhood. And it's called Gold Diggers Bear Mountain. It stars Christina Ricci and Anna Chumsky. Like, back when they were both probably, like, in their late teens, early 20s, I think? Or maybe even mid-teens. I don't know, but it, if you've never heard of it, I highly recommend looking it up. It's a cute little movie that I really, really love about friendship and just an adventure, and it's awesome, and I love it. But yeah, so I got those three DVDs, and then yesterday kind of went to Barnes and Noble and Half Price Books and got some stuff. So the f uh, the movie I got from Half Price Books is one that I never thought another one I never thought I'd own on DVD, but I saw it when I was younger, and I absolutely fell in love with it, and so I'm so happy to own it. And that is Jawbreaker right here. Oh, you can see it. But it stars um, Rebecca Gayhart, Julie Benz, Carol Kane, Pam Greer, and Rose McGowan. And I absolutely adore Rose McGowan. So, yeah, this was, besides Charm, this was the only other thing I saw Rose McGowan in. And, like, a Lifetime movie I remember seeing. But, oh my god, she's so good in this movie. I just, this is such a dark movie, but I love it so much. So I'm so happy to have it on DVD. The other three are books. So the first one is, um... Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. I'm I probably just said that wrong. I don't know how to say his last name, but he's an author that I've been told many many times in my life that at some point I need to lead. I need to at least read one of his books, and this is the one that I've heard I've seen most people recommend. So um, it wasn't that much at half price, so I bought it. Um, I don't know much about it, um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but like I said, I've seen, I've heard nothing but good things about his book, so I'm excited to read one. The next one is called Doctor Who Heroes and Monsters Collections. It's basically just a bunch of short stories about different doctors and different companions. I think, like, they're only maybe five, six pages long. They're not that long of stories. And then there's about, let's see, how many stories are there? There's about 26 stories in here, so... I'm really, this is my first, like, Doctor Who novelization I've ever, because I've only ever watched the show. I haven't read any of the books or anything like that, so I'm really interested to see what it's, how, what it's like to read Doctor Who instead of watch Doctor Who. But, yeah, I'm really excited about that. And then the last book I got was actually, um, one I didn't intend to get, but, um, I was looking, uh, I was showing one of my, my friend that went with me, um, Milk and Honey. And this was beneath it, and the woman that worked at Barnes & Noble highly recommended it, and so I decided to get it. And that is The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. And it's poetry, just like um, Milk and Honey, see? I'm probably going to give this one a read in July and see if it's as good as uh, Milk and Honey, because that's what the um, lady at Barnes & Noble said, so we'll see if she was lying to me. But yeah, I'm excited to read this. And yeah, so that's what I got in June. Um, did you guys get anything good in June? Let me know down below. And if you watched or read any of the things I've shown, let's talk about it. How do you feel about them? And yeah, so like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Until next time, bye guys.